Hey guys, David Wells here, and I just wanted to show you another quick tip, and that is surge.sh. And what surge.sh allows you to do is deploy front-end projects, static projects, uh, up to the internet with a URL to share with people really, 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 really quickly. So uh, I'm gonna run through a quick demo of what it is and what it does, and uh, hopefully you start using it and um, it'll make your life easier. So it's insanely easy to install. You just run npm install uh, dash g or dash dash global surge. Then inside of your project directory, just run surge. If you haven't set up an account yet, it'll prompt you to do so by entering your email and a password, I believe. Um, but yeah, so uh, fire up your terminal window and just go ahead and uh, run that command. Uh, once that's set up, uh, basically you need to uh, get into your project that you want to deploy. So let me go ahead and clear this guy out. So this is a project I did a little bit ago. Um, it's a simple React app um, with some login routing stuff. But uh, here it is running on localhost 3000. Uh, I needed to share this uh, as a demo. So, um, you know, I could have uploaded it to my own personal server, uh, but that gets kind of cumbersome, especially when you make uh, you know, little adjustments here and there. You got to keep FTPing that up to your server. Uh, but instead, uh, I started using Surge, uh, which is free, by the way. Um, and you can even do custom domains for free, which is crazy. But basically, so here's the project running locally. Uh, I wanted it up on the web. So all I needed to do was in my project, just type in, after I've installed Surge, I just type in Surge, hit enter and it will prompt me to tell it the path of the project. And this is um, the path, I believe. Let me double check that. So the path is, yeah. So my path, uh, I have my index.html file here, um, including my bundle. And here's where my React application mounts. And um, the disk folder has the build stuff. So, uh, you know, if I run npm uh, build or webpack, that'll build, put it in my dist. And uh, basically all I need to do is hit enter. Um, so surge will prompt you with a uh, randomly generated uh, kind of funny name. Uh, you can just go ahead and delete that and say like test whatever. And as long as it's not taken on surge.sh, uh, you can basically get that subdomain. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to map a uh, real domain to it uh, in a little bit here. So I already have a domain, so I'm actually gonna cancel this and show you how I deploy this application. So inside of my package.json here, what I have is just an NPM script uh, that runs the surge command and you can pass it uh, the domain that you have already given it basically. So I already deployed this to apple-login.surge.sh. So I'm just passing that there in the um, deploy script. So let me go ahead and run that. So npm run dist. So this will run my command and there it is. Um, you can see it's like populating the URL that I already gave it. Um, so that is it basically. So I just uploaded the entire project up to the uh, live site. Um, you can see that at apple login.surge.sh uh, right here. Um, but you know, let's say you wanted to make a change. You simply, you know, go in, make a change to your application and uh, save those changes. And all you need to do uh, really is um, npm run dist again, and then it'll prompt you and then you just hit enter again. So it's very, very quick and easy to basically update a project and um, basically get that up and live uh, insanely quickly. So. That's Surge uh, in a nutshell. 
Um, again, it's free, so check it out. Uh, it's in my developer tool belt. I use it for all sorts of demos and things. Um, so let me actually switch gears and I'll show you guys um, how to actually use a custom domain with this as well. Uh, and it's also in their documentation. So let's go over there, take a look. So inside of help, uh, you can add a custom domain and this is with the free accounts, which is pretty incredible. Um, so if you want a really simple static site um, and you wanna be able to deploy to it uh, insanely quickly, uh, check out Surge. But basically all you need to do is in your uh, domain registrar, so GoDaddy or wherever you bought your domain, uh, set up a C name and point it to um, this URL here. Um, you can also do uh, an A record if your um, registrar doesn't allow for C names and it gives you that information in this um, adding a custom domain link, which I'm gonna add to the blog post that corresponds with this video. So um, let's go ahead, I'm gonna switch over to a project, CD, CD, projects, React class. So React class is a project I'm working on here in San Francisco. It's gonna be some training stuff, um, but basically, um, this is the site. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna run the site locally to show you guys. And then I'll show you the code. So React, uh, let's see, I'm running this on localhost 8000. So here's the site, really plain and simple. I'm still working on it, work in progress. But basically, um, all this is is you know a static HTML site, uh, and I needed somewhere to toss it up on the internet uh, quickly. So um, all I did, which is in the instructions here, was set up that C name with the um, uh, domain that uh, was purchased, and then um, all you need to do is. Uh, use Surge and um, basically plug in your custom domain. Once you've mapped the CNAME to the Surge subdomain, um, you run this command. Uh, what I've done instead is uh, in my terminal, uh, I went ahead and just ran, um, uh, let's see, echo my custom domain. So I just changed this to React class. Uh, that printed out that, uh, let's see, this CNAME file here with just, it just has React class. And when I deploy this, if we look at the package.json again, all I do is type in um, npm run deploy and that, you know, under the hood just runs the surge command. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and change something on this site and uh, I'll show you guys how quick and easy this is. So don't look at this code, it's a little bit dirty, um, but okay. So we have the home page here. I'm gonna add an exclamation point and we'll go ahead and look at the uh, actual site as well. So here it is live, um, not totally done yet, so <laughs> again, bear with me. But here is the title with no exclamation point um, so I'm gonna go ahead and here's the local site. Let me go ahead and uh, save that file and run the server again, just to show you that it is updated locally. So here's my exclamation point. All right, cool, I made my change to my site. Now I wanna deploy it so everyone on the internet can see it. So all I need to do is run npm run deploy that uh, prompts me this is the correct path. So I just hit enter and boom. So that is updating and sending it up. And now if I go to the live site, we can see, boom, there's our changes. So insanely quick and easy to update projects um, and static websites. So I hope this video helped you. Um, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to tweet at me at David Wells. And um, yeah, uh, happy coding.